Hello again and welcome to yet another exciting unboxing video. Um, this time we've got a box that's just arrived from Amazon and we will just give it the old quick rip open and see what's inside the box. I ordered this up at um, it was about 10 o'clock this morning and that was it delivered this evening. So that was a good delivery time from Amazon. And you will see, once we get rid of the packaging, it's uh, Western Digital, it's an 8 terabyte hard drive, and um, I get plenty of hard drives, I must admit, I've got you know, about 4 terabyte ones, 2 terabytes, I've got drives all over the place. Um, but what I've been needing to do recently is I have got Synology NAS, QNAP NAS boxes and stuff and I'm finding that backing the stuff up NAS to NAS is a wee bit slow. So what I've decided to do was buy an 8 terabyte drive. I'm going to back up the Synology NAS, hopefully, and um, see how quickly that takes. I think there's about 7.5 terabytes of data, so I'm hoping that by the time this drive gets formatted, and plugged in that there will be just enough space for me to get all the data backed up. So let's have a little look inside and see what the drive looks like. Quite an interesting coloured box. I thought it was going to be the standard Western digital colour, which is the user kind of bluey kind of colour. Um, see if we can, oh, there we go, it's a sleeve on it. That's cunning. Right, let's get the sleeve off. Let's hit the camera. Right. Yeah. Get it out. We've got a little, oh, a little piece of paper that says hello. So, hello. And need help. Well, that's a good start. No, I don't need any help. Uh, what have we got? There is more inside. There you go, they've went the right idiot proof way with this box and stuff. But let's take out the main drive and the item that's in here. Let's slide that out, which funny enough it will be once we get everything out. Uh, what have we got? Um, A small leaflet on how to assemble the power adapter plug and I'm going to bother with that, it's a warranty bit of rubbish. It's one of these adapters, oh there you go, look, it's actually pre-built so I don't even need to follow the instructions or anything, it's all done for me. We have the USB lead with a rather strange connector on the end for the drive side. And let's get the plastic bits and bobs off. It's interesting. It's sort of not as sticky as I would thought. Straight away I'm thinking, is this another Amazon used product? I hope not. Um, right, standard plastic. It's that stuff where when you touch it, yeah, fingerprints appear quite quick. But um, not that I'm caring, it's just going to be dumped next to an as box and used for backup. Uh, what we've got at the back, 12 volt input for the power supply. And we've got the connection for the USB lead, which will plug in. And um, as I say, it's an 8 terabyte drive. I'm going to plug this in and format it on the Synology 1513 uh, NAS box that I've got. And um, I'm going to see just how, when I format it, just how much space we've got, then we will do some backups to it. I mean, it's a main backup of the whole device, and we'll see how quickly that gets done as well. So, a rather strange thing to unbox, I suppose, a hard drive, but um, what we'll do is, it's just for a bit of excitement, once we get it plugged into the NAS, I'll show you me formatting it, show you what we get, and then I'll do a backup and give you an idea of how long the backup takes and then from there hopefully that'll be a bit of uh, useful advice. So let's cut over to the software side and let's see how we get it formatted. 
Right, okay. So let's click on the external drive icon. And what you should see there is the USB disk is showing up. So we know that the, the NAS box has detected it. So what we're just going to do is click the format button. It's going to be the entire disk. We're going to use the EXT4 format because we don't want to use FAT32. And then we'll just click on OK. So again, it advises us that it's going to format everything. And you'll see there that it's now starting to format. And there you go, it's telling us about the partition one, where it's shared, the amount of data that's going to be formatted to, and the file system. So nothing's there at the moment until this thing actually formats. So it doesn't take that long. And uh, if we just wait every second or two, we should see it being complete. And there you go. That has got the shared folder created. It's USB share one, it's an EXT4 format. We've got about just under seven and a half terabytes of storage space. And I'll get rid of that. So now what we'll do is we'll start Hyper Backup and we'll configure a backup. So we'll use the local shared folder on external drive. So I'll click that. Click Next. Uh, we'll now scroll down all the various folders we've got and find the USB share one. It's going to create it in a folder called Omega Under One. Right, next. This is all the folders that's currently on this particular NAS box. So we'll just go down. Click away all of these, business folders, personal folders, whole range of things. Nearly there. Ah, we'll even do the temp. I was going to leave it, we'll just do that. Right, hit next. Applications, well, let's just back all those up as well. Just fine. Hit next. Right, so task name, local storage one, just leave that the same. Um, pretty well, just leave everything as is. I'm just doing a straight backup. There's nothing going to be configured. And we're not interested in backup rotation. As I say, I'm just trying to get one backup done. So we'll hit apply. So what that do, what it's doing. Back it up now. Yep, let's hit yes. And really that's it. So it's now a waiting game. So I think rather than sitting here for a few hours or anything else, well, this is backing up to here. What we'll do is we will pause and when we come back, we'll tell you how long it went and took. Right, so that's the backup done. And as you'll see at the bottom, um, it took 17 hours, 56 minutes and 42 seconds. Um, so that was 6.13 terabytes of data that was backed up there. Right, so now if we quickly check the backup statistics, you can see there it actually keeps a little chart of all the backups that's been done. I could set it up for alerts, etc. But as I say, for this particular um, purpose, I only wanted a quick backup done. So really, that's it. Um, seems to be working. I've just got to go and test some restores out. Uh, I'll do that at my leisure. But um, Hope you found that reasonably interesting and uh, if you have any questions or anything else feel free to leave any comments and below and I'll certainly do my best to uh, reply to you. So once again many thanks for taking the time to watch and I'll see you again.